the power they've got to transmit it. Um, voltage, as you know, is current times resistance. Power is voltage times current. They're your two basic formulae. Because voltage is current times resistance, power also equals I squared R. Power's or the volt, the electricity is transmitted down the high voltage power lines because if power's voltage times current, high voltage means you transmit the same amount of power and a lot lower current. The current, the flow in the electricity, the electrons moving is what causes the heat. To minimise losses, you need to minimise the flow. So, current's the heat loss. If you, deep, if you send power down lines at maximum possible voltage, like 330,000 volts as the big ones, then you decrease the loss because it's incredibly high voltages and tiny currents. And the current's what causes the heat loss. Those power lines you see, 330 kV, couple of things. The insulators, I'll draw them life size. There's a threaded insert there with a bolt coming out the top. You might have seen these things sitting on power lines. They're drawn about life size. Have you seen those things hanging off the power lines? Yeah. They're insulators. They hang the power cable off the bottom. So that's threaded. That's all ceramic. They look like that, like little roofs, so when they get wet, the water flows down there and inside here stays dry. Because that stays dry, there's no path for the electricity to travel up and out and short out on the power line. Make sense? Mm -hmm. Yeah. As well as... Now it's not a straight path, it's got a lot longer path to follow as well if it does short out. Oh. So once again, minimises um, shorting out. So, 330 kV, those power lines are incredibly high as well. Because voltage is the driving force. 330,000 volts will drive a spark happily 10 metres. You can't build underneath a high voltage power line. You can't drive trucks underneath them unless they're designed accordingly. Because if I drive a truck underneath there, with its nice high exhaust stack, there it is, there's its wheels, the truck might become the electrical short, which is not good for the truck driver. So, we've got to worry with electrical safety about distances for high voltage transmission lines.